Hey everybody and welcome to episode 293 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, June 8th, 2016. Ricky, a lot of people have asked, what does that number mean at the beginning of the episode? It's a mystery. Yeah. Should we solve it for everybody right now, or? I think it's pretty clear. It it's is. My age. <laughs> right. Ricky is a modern day Benjamin <laughs> Button. He is decreasing in age as we get closer and closer uh, to zero. You can expect him to take on the traits of a baby more and more. Um, no, it is the countdown to our 300th episode which is a huge deal for us. Uh, can't believe that we're getting to 300. And uh, we hope that uh, you'll like what we have planned for the 300th episode. What do we have planned, Ricky? Well, you're just gonna have to <laughs> tune in to find out. <laughs> Nothing yet. We're, we're working on it. We got, some, we got some things in the works. We're, uh, thoughts are ruminating. It was a big week last week. We had uh, the first Rebirth uh, comics post the DC Universe Rebirth special. That's right. Uh, books sold really well. Sold out of pretty much everything. I think we've got a few Green Arrow books left and that's about it. Looking at uh, getting more of that in hopefully this week. So DC Rebirth kicks off in a uh, huge strong way. Uh, we've got more Rebirth issues this week. Uh, we'll get to those in a little bit and uh, a lot of awesome stuff from the other publishers as well. Ricky, could you please go ahead and do us the honor of opening some boxes? All right, we got some pops to show you today. First up is this Giant Man pop based on the uh, awesome appearance of Paul Rudd's character in the Civil War movie. From the new Ghostbusters movie, we have Aaron Gilbert and Abby Yates. Then we have Gertrude Eldridge, who's some form of ghost. And Kevin. Always use more Kevins in the Ghostbusters. All right, now for collected editions, we have Shadow of the Bat from Batman today. This reprints uh, Shadow of the Bat from the 90s, issue 1 through 12. And if you're a Scotty Young fan, you definitely want to pick up this Young Marvel coloring book today. Uh, features a lot of uh, Scotty Young's covers in black and white, which you can fill in with your own um, pencil crayon, crayon, or marker. Very cool stuff. All right, now moving on to the comics. We've got Birthright, issue 16. Kaiju Max, season two, number two. Life and Death, Prometheus, number one of four. A new one from Image Comics and Howard Chaikin. It is Midnight of the Soul. Brutal Nature, number two from IDW. Renato Jones, the 1% issue number two. The Ninja Turtles miniseries Bebop and Rocksteady Destroy Everything has these two covers. And we've got the Pink Panther returning to comics with an issue one. 4001 AD Bloodshot, number one from Valiant. Titan Comics brings us Sherlock, a study in pink. Invader Zim number 10 has two covers. We've got Chapter House Archives, Captain Canuck issue number two. This takes a classic Captain Canuck story and pairs it with an all new one. Congrats uh, to our good friend and longtime stadium customer, Adam Martin, for uh, landing his first professional comic coloring gig inside this issue in the story Difficult Things. Uh, it's written by Fadi Hakim and uh, illustrated by the awesome Mike Ruth. Uh, Mike and Adam working together on a book makes for all kinds of awesome. And then we have Empress issue number three. All right, moving on to Marvel. We've got Deadpool number nine, a second printing, and a second printing of Moon Knight number two. Continuing on with Marvel's new Timely Comics line that reprints the first three issues of popular series uh, and sells them for only $3. That's a dollar per issue, $3 US that is. Uh, we've got Drax. This has Drax issues one through three. And the same goes for Daredevil as well as Doctor Strange. All new X-Men number 10. Ricky, Ricky, have you seen uh, X-Men Apocalypse yet? I have. And thoughts on it? I didn't like it. He says he didn't like it. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't had time. Hopefully I'll uh, reserve judgment. Ricky and I disagree on a lot of things when it comes to movies, so I will withhold judgment until I see it. New Avengers number 12. Here is the variant cover. Vision number 8. Deadpool and the Mercs for Money number 5. Here's the variant for that book. Howard the Duck number 8 has this awesome Dustin Wynn variant. Here's Daredevil number 8. Thunderbolts number 2. Venom Space Knight number 8. Darth Vader number 21. Here is the action figure variant. Poe Dameron number three. And the amazing, awesome Mike Walsh X-Wing variant. 
Mike Walsh, this might be the favorite, my favorite cover out of all the ones that you've done, just because I love X-Wings. Civil War Gods of War, number one. And here is the variant cover. And we've got two regular covers for Civil War Amazing Spider-Man number one. And we also have this awesome Phil Noto variant. Moving on to DC Comics, of course, we've got more Rebirth books this week. But before we get to the Rebirth stuff, let's show you some of the non-Rebirth titles. We'll start with Supergirl, or Adventures of Supergirl, number two. And it comes with a blank cover. There is a problem with this blank cover though. It's not cardstock. It's just regular glossy paper that just happens to be white. Uh, so not much you can do with the blank co cover other than use Sharpies or something similar to it. Uh, don't uh, try to use pencils or pencil crayons or anything like that to, to make your sketch. Uh, inks also won't take very well to it. So a little bit of a confusing uh, choice by DC Comics. I'm sure people would have gladly paid a dollar or two more for this book to have a cardstock version. We've also got Earth 2 Society number 13 and Constantine the Hellblazer number 13. Green Lantern Corps Edge of Oblivion number 6 of 6. Harley Quinn and her Gang of Harleys number 3. By the way, all of the, uh, the DC books this week have this awesome uh, New Frontier tribute to the late Darwin Cook. Hanna-Barbera's Wacky Raceland number one. This uh, comic is gonna be awesome. Imagine Wacky Races meets the world of Mad Max and you've got Wacky Raceland. Uh, not a book for kids. There's some crazy violence and stuff inside. Uh, lots of really cool vehicles and uh, the art is amazing as well. So Wacky Raceland number one. Here's the Ivan Rice variant. The Tommy Lee Edwards variant, the Dave Johnson variant, and the coloring book variant. We've got Red Hood and Arsenal number 13, and the latest uh, DC Comics crossover series with uh, the Boombox this time. It's Lumberjanes, Gotham Academy, number one of six. This is the regular cover. Here's one of the variants, another variant, and this is the uh, rarer of the variants. All right, now on to the Rebirth books. I want to remind you guys all that the deadline is approaching to get in on Rebirth Phase 2, which are the Rebirth books that come out in the month of July, as well as Rebirth Phase 3, which are the Rebirth books coming out in the month of August. Those are the new Rebirth titles starting in those months. We've got collector's packs available online uh, for both of those months. Check them all out at stadiumcomics.com. You'll see them on the front page there. Um, like I said, time is running short on those. Uh, here is Aquaman Rebirth, number one. In the variant cover, Greg Rucka, one of the all-time great Wonder Woman writers, returns to the title in Wonder Woman Rebirth 1. And this cover right here, this art germ Wonder Woman variant cover has got to be one of the greatest covers uh, out of this whole Rebirth event so far. Uh, this is gonna be a very popular one, I'm sure. Here is Flash Rebirth. Now what you need to know about Flash Rebirth number one is that if you liked DC Universe Rebirth number one, you wanna pick up Flash Rebirth number one. Reason being is because it uh, contains some elements of story that occurred before the events in uh, DC Universe Rebirth one shot. And it also picks up right where that one left off with uh, Barry and Wally uh, reunited and, and goes forward from there. So definitely worth a read this week. Here is the variant cover for that book. And then of course, also part of Rebirth, Detective Comics and Action Comics go back to their old numbering as we approach 1,000 issues for both of those. This is issue 934 of Detective Comics. And here's the variant cover by Raphael Albuquerque. Then we have Action Comics number 957, main cover by Ivan Rice. And here's the variant cover by Ryan Sook. All right guys, prize time. So last week we asked you um, what kind of twists would you give to a character to make everyone super offended? Um, Frank Izapari said, Batman grows wiser, older, more knowledge of how he helps Gotham. He time travels back to that awful night and kills his own parents so that young Bruce grows up to be Batman. Whoa, dude, that's that's some crazy stuff. I'd, I'd see that, some alternate Batman stuff. Who knows, that might have actually happened. Batman is Joe Chill, confirmed. That's his name, right, Kevin, Joe Chill? Yeah. What a stupid name, Joe Chill. But he's not Mr. He likes, Freeze? He likes to chill, man. No. 
Obviously, he doesn't like to chill because he killed Bruce Wayne's parents. Chilling is killing, man. <laughs> Ouch. Steven Verisami said Batman has another brother we didn't know about, and his brother is Clue Master. I would hate that. That would make sense, right? Batman is the ultimate detective. Clue Master is the ultimate uh, guy who makes mysteries. So that works. Charlie McCabe says, Ricky says I hate comics. That's the ultimate betrayal, man. I would never say that. Never at all. Although, you know, I actually have said that a couple of times. When dumb things happen in comics, sometimes you just gotta say, I hate comics. Bunky Bunk said, I would be upset if we found out all along Ricky's hand gestures have been codes to tell Hydra's covert operative Steve Rogers what to do or that they are subliminal messages telling everyone in America to vote for Donald Trump. Who told you, man? Who told you when I'm when I'm in the back doing all these like whoosh, 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 whoosh. those are definitely Hydra signals. Uh, but the winner for this week, who will go into the draw at the end of the month, goes to Matt Murdock, who says Miles Morales is Obama's son, but Michelle isn't the mother. The rest of the year, Marvel Comics present Obama myself, an event miles above the rest. Do you, you guys see all those puns at the end there? Mmm. Fantastic, like this. Mmm. Great stuff, man, Murray. That's why you're going into the draw. Alright, guys, for this week's question, we got a pretty unlikely crossover in Lumberjanes meets Gotham Academy. I don't get how they did that, but you know what? They worked their magic. Something happened there. So, what I want to know from you is what crossover would you love to see from an unlikely pair? For me, I think it'd be a, a pairing. It's a mystery book starring Usain Bolt and uh, the world's fattest man. And together they go around, hopefully go around, I guess the guy would have like a forklift, the, the big guy, and they'd be solving mysteries, you know, U Usain Bolt using his super fast speed and uh, the world's fattest guy, he'd be like using his brain to like solve mysteries. So let us know in the comments what unlikely crossover you'd like to see and the winner will be put into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. It looks like it's going to be another exciting week, Ricky, with all the rebirth stuff and the Civil War stuff going on and the wacky race stuff going on, of course. I'm excited. Um, how do you feel about the state of comics in the last like few weeks versus, say, a couple months ago? I feel like it's been going pretty good. I mean, even here in the store, you got a lot more people coming in. Yeah, it's so nice to see, good. definitely. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. For, uh, for the future. The, the future. But, I mean, we can't just rely on DC be like, oh, they're relaunching, everyone's going to come in. I mean, it's not going to last forever, right? So, you got to have good practices. And so far, comics don't have the best practices. What, what do you mean? You know, coming out with, like, variant covers and then relaunching every, like, five what, seconds. What we need is some youthful new voices in comics creating books that uh, haven't been seen by the big two publishers. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> People with weird cats on their shirt. Yeah, and nothing at all with black holes or uh, anything black hole related, anything related to the hunting of <laughs> black holes. Uh, we don't need any more of that. We need new, fresh stuff. Enjoy your comics this week. We'll see all you guys next time for episode 294. Connect with us on any of the websites here on the screen. Take it easy and rebirth onwards. <laughs> so I'm gonna well, sign off from now on. We can't even say what the 52? No. Can't say it anymore. No. Peace.